do have team coverage at noon here on the storm prep going on in South Florida. We go now to local 10 news reporter Cy. We're on war live in Fort Lauderdale where residents are picking up sandbags. Guys, and they've already picked up 100 tons of sand here at Mills Pond Park in Fort Lauderdale. Take a look at the people. They're bringing their own shovels, shoveling it into uh, sandbags. There's a max of 10 that you can get here. 2,700 sandbags already gone through the city city residents preparing for potential flooding. So Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue and CERT, that's Community Emergency Response Team volunteers, are also here helping fill sandbags for residents who are not able to do it themselves. You never know. Storm might hit us, you know? You don't know yet. With the National Weather Service and Local 10's Weather Authority meteorologists predicting heavy rain, South Florida preparing for potential flooding. These guys are out here planning ahead with help from the city of Fort Lauderdale. Our uh, Parks and Recreation Department and Public Works Department for the city have been working together to acquire more sand. We've been trucking in more sand. Whoa! The city called and said that they were given free sandbags because we're having this storm that's coming in and I want to be prepared. Judy Thomas told me after she experienced flooding from heavy rain earlier this fall, she's not taking her chances this time around. Fort Lauderdale resident Kim Watson had a similar story. The last flood, the last one we just had, oh, came inches away from the door. I couldn't take it. So I was like, okay, we're going we're gonna to be ready this time. This Mills Pond Park sand distribution started at 7 a.m. and will continue until 5 p.m. or until they're out of sand with a limit of 10 bags per car. Fort Lauderdale leadership says they're working to accommodate excessive rainfall in the city and they're asking for your help. If they see storm drains that are clogged or debris, uh, they need to call the city and we will take care of that right away. That's a priority for us right now. So if you're coming out here, remember you need to bring your own shovel. The sand is here until 5 p.m. or until it runs out. So if you don't live in Fort Lauderdale and you want to see if your community is also hosting a free sand distribution like Doral, Hialeah Gardens, we have all of that information on our website. That's local10.com. For now, that's the latest live in Fort Lauderdale. Syrah Onward, Local 10 News. All right, Syrah, thank you for that. And now we want to turn to Miami-Dade County and see what they're doing down there. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela picks up our team coverage this midday in Doral. Well, Janice, this is one of two locations here in Doral, the city offering sandbags. And we have seen a couple residents take advantage of this opportunity. Folks who may live in areas that are prone to flooding. We also were able to get out to the Miami International Airport area where they have one of the pumps, South Florida Water Management. You can see video here as they get ready for the possible flo flooding and the high um, amounts of rains that we could get over the weekend. They're telling us that the levels are at their lowest because they want to create capacity in case we get a lot of that rain that we are expecting. They've also brought in new pumps. These are temporary pumps that they put over the street that connects the pumps and allows a greater amount of water to flow. Here's the, uh, the gentleman from uh, South Florida Water Management telling us why they do this. Typically, it'll go to areas where you need additional pumping. So sometimes we use mobile pumps over at the water conservation areas just to get more water out at a certain time. All right, so here are some reminders from Miami-Dade County in terms of getting ready for this possible storm. When it comes to transit operations, remember that buses, Metro Rail, Metro Mover will stop working three hours before winds reach 39 miles an hour. Bridge closures, they will begin locking down all drawbridges eight hours before winds reach 30 miles an hour. And during severe storm conditions, they remind folks not to be out there driving, just encouraging folks to stay off the roads. And another reminder, clear store dreams, they say, store dreams of debris. Uh, obviously, that will help with any flooding issues that we may have. But again, back out live here, you can see Doral's getting ready, as well as Hialeah Gardens, also offering free sandbags over the weekend. A lot of folks just making sure that they are ready to go for the rain. For now, reporting live in Doral, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News. Good.